Hey guys, this is the start to a redstone tutorial on a calculator I made. So this is all out of just redstone components, um, no observers and also no command blocks. If you haven't seen how this works already, I'll just do a really quick example. So you can type in whatever you want on the top and bottom as long as it doesn't go over 255. So we're going to select the top and type in 123. We've got one, two, three. Switch to the bottom. Type in 247, 4, 7. Okay, so after that, you can just choose what you want it to do out of these four options. I'll just do multiplication. It switches into the mode, it gives you the symbol, and it takes about six seconds until it gets to the answer. So this is not going to be a block by block tutorial, um, it's going to be like each component gets its own video. And this first video is just going to go over two things, um, I kind of deem them as requirements as before you should even start this, you should know these two things. One of them is being world edit, it's just a client side mod that you can get. Um, you'll have to install Forge first and I'll put some links in the description or whatever if you don't have world edit already. It's going to be really helpful in designing things, it's going to save you a ton of time, please don't try to build anything without world edit. You only need like maybe four or five commands. I can just go over them really quickly. The first one is the set command. So you're going to pick two points, one with left click, one with right click, and you're just going to, you just set it to a block. So slash slash set, whatever block you want it to be. If I want it to be stone, you do that. If you want to get rid of something, slash I set zero, zero is the ID for error. So it just gets rid of it. Uh, there's another one. Obviously you have copy and paste. If you want a specific, if you have a component and you want to move it, you can also always just copy and paste it. So you can take this, you pick a reference point, and as you're standing here, slash slash copy. Now it copies it from that reference point. So wherever you paste it from, it's going to be like you're standing right where you were when it's pasted. Um, while you have something copied, you can also rotate it. I don't know if it still still have it copied. I probably do. Yeah, so I rotated my, clip, my uh, clipboard by 90 degrees. So now if I go over here... It should be, yeah, it pastes this way, so it rotates 90 degrees. So that's really useful for lining up stuff too. Um, but you don't always have to copy and paste stuff if you want to move stuff. There's also a move command. So you select two points, slash slash move. Look in the direction you want to move it and tell, you, tell it how many blocks. So slash slash move five moves it that way. The other thing you have to know is binary, which is a number system that only uses zeros and ones. And it's what redstone uses to do all the math, basically. A zero is a redstone line being off, and a one is a redstone line being on. So that's how the computer does all its math. You really need to be able to like convert between decimal and binary. It's really not hard to learn at all. I would I'll link a few tutorials in the description as well. Just like it takes like maybe 15 minutes and you can get the basics of it. But yeah, once you're comfortable with those two things, there shouldn't be any problems with the rest of it. Um, I pulled out a bunch of components already and kind of labeled them. So these are what each video is going to be about. This is just a roadmap of how everything works in it. Uh, so the next video, we'll go over input to BCD. Thanks for watching.